As we were climbing the hill, we stopped every L probably 30 yards, 40 yards, and Thomas would call just to see if he would get a response. He actually did, I think, a couple of times, and then I started hearing the turkey, so I knew, okay, we're getting close. We did that a few times, and then when we finally got up to the tree, I think um, Thomas called again, and he got one, so we knew he was close, and then we had to army crawl around the tree, or to the tree, and then I had to crawl around it to get in front and to get positioned. But every time Thomas called aggressively, then the bird, he would gobble and he would get closer and closer. And the last gobble, it was pretty, it was pretty loud. It was pretty intense. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. When I die, you're going to have to slide over. Okay, ready? Got him. Did I get him I think I did. Yeah. Are you sure? Let's go check. I actually thought I missed because um, after I shot, I saw a bird run. You did it, Catherine. You got him. It's been a long time coming. Look at the 
sweetie fan. This is my um, second bird only. I haven't had it, gotten a bird since Taylor was five months. Well, I was pregnant with Taylor for five months along. So it's been a long time coming. I don't think we even saw a bird last year and I think I missed <laughs> the year before. So this was great. One shot, one kill this time. We actually had spent the morning in the pine. Um, I took a nice hour and a half nap, which was much needed. We packed up to go and Thomas wanted to go on three mile and just kind of check some um, coves. And we actually went into this cove and Thomas did some calling and he heard a uh, bird gobble. I didn't hear it. Thomas has got sonic ears. We uh, got into this hill, kind of had to do a little belly crawl to get up to the, to the tree because we didn't want to be seen. And then we set up and Thomas continued to call and then we could hear the gobbles as he got closer and closer and as he got closer and closer, my heartbeat got, you know, louder and louder and my breathing got faster and faster. And then I actually saw the turkey before Thomas did, which that doesn't happen very often. So he um, actually, with this tree, his head, I just saw his little head, he was looking for us. And then finally Thomas saw him too, so then we kind of worked together because I was like, okay, when can I shoot? Because I still had to line up my gun on him. Um, and I didn't want him to see me, but then as soon as um, he strutted once and then his head was up and then I shot him and killed him. <laughs> so here's the pretty fan. He's got a good beard. Yeah, and then my, oh, this is, I don't think I've ever, have I got any Tom before? Yeah, I have. Yep. Yeah, so this is my second one. I'm pretty proud of it. Save some feathers for the kids. We have a nice long weekend together. Um, we got a cabin and we are anticipating that it would take probably three days for me to shoot a turkey, but we got it done on the first day, the first morning, so now we can just kind of hang out, relax, maybe go fishing, go for walks. We got our dog here. Grandparents are watching the kids, so we get to have a little bit of couple time, which would be nice. So, And I just want to thank the Iowa DNR for all that they do for the state of Iowa, for the wildlife and conservation because of this. This wouldn't be possible without them. It's all public land. We got it done. Day one. One shot, one kill. One, 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 one. <laughs> this is the cove um, where we had the boat and Thomas uh, struck his, what? <laughs> struck the bird. Struck the bird with a crow call. Ready? This is not how I would say okay, it. Okay, then say it how you want to say it. You just say what you want to say. Ready? This is the cove where Thomas um, called to the bird. Yeah.